Man, what a year. What a year. Life changing. All the way from my home in Louisiana to the Great Lakes up north in Michigan. I did it. You know, I didn't do it by myself. It takes a team, man. It's all about the team. Nobody gets there alone. Nope. Man, thank you, Striking. Hey guys, welcome to Michiana Outdoors. You're hanging with Gerald Swindle today and we're gonna talk a little bit about a question that I'm asked a lot and hopefully shed some light on jig trailers, what style. A lot of people are always say, what style do you skip with? Is there a difference in cold water, hot water? Absolutely. Real briefly, we're gonna to touch on that. Every style has a, an application. Of course, I've been with Zoom forever, so you know I'm gonna be talking about Zoom plastics. That's no secret. I'm gonna start out with a twin tail. This is a narrow body with big swimming feet on it. What I do with this bait is cast it on a small finesse jig. You know, it could be a little football head, a little ball head, it doesn't matter. But for me, this is scream spotted bass, small mouth when the water's warmed up a little bit. 50 degrees and above, I'm going for this type bait on a small jig to get strikes. It kind of holds the bait up, falls with a lot of action. You have other baits, like this is, you know, you have a Z crawl, you have a Z hog. These are both creature style baits, but the one thing different in them, this bait would be real lethargic on a jig, the little junior, because it's flappers. It doesn't have any type of way to swim. It's more of a real methodical, when you're working it through the water, it's real methodical. Where the Z crawl has feet on the end of it, so when you swim it, it's going to swim real fast. I mean, when you reel it, it's got a lot of action, but it's streamlined together, which a lot of times I'll put on a swimming jig. I'll take the Z crawl, put, you know, put it on there and swim it. It's real tight action with a lot of foot. This, like a little Z hog, be cold water conditions. I'm fishing for uh, large mouth spotted bass, small mouth, water temperature 49 and down. I'm going to look for a bait like this with real, real light action. Kind of real, kind of flowing through the water. But when it hits the coldest period of the year, I'm going to go with the old big salty chunk. This is the old time, I mean old school, built after the, the kind of the body of the old Uncle Josh. And you can see what it looks like. It's huge in the water, but it's very, very methodical. When you pull the bait through the water, it has very light action. When it's cold, go-to chunk right there, the big salty. So those are the basic jig trailers that I use. I hope it helps. Can't wait to see you guys again on Michiana Outdoors.